Hey, welcome back everyone. It is time for another Red Hot Cover Call video. Well, hey, look, today we're talking about the dividend wheel. I was on YouTube and I saw somebody talking about some dividend wheel thing where he would buy a dividend paying stock and then when he collected a dividend, he'd take that dividend money and buy another dividend paying stock that was happening the next week. He would repeat, repeat, and he called it his dividend wheel. Well, I'm going to show you my dividend wheel where we're going to use the dividend capture strategy where we buy a dividend paying ETF and then we're going to use the cash secure put. So hey, let's get to this. If you like anything you hear today, I want you to subscribe to the channel. It's right there. It's free. I come back every week. I show you timely and relevant covered call trades for which we create a premium profit and we buy a dividend paying stock. So hey, look, if you like this video today, bang that like button. It lets me know you like what I'm doing. And what we're doing is this, we're talking about the dividend wheel and I love the idea. What I want you to do is sit back and give me some runway uh, to land this sucker. See, you have to understand I'm doing this strategy. So I'm going to explain something you've never heard before. And I'm going to lay this out there. So even if you're a newbie to this, you have never done this before. I'm going to help you out because what we're going to do is this. We're going to buy a dividend paying stock or ETF. We're going to collect the dividend. Then we're going to sell those shares and we're going to write cash secure puts until we get around to the ex dividend date of the stock we just sold. And we're going to own the shares again and we're going to repeat. I'm going to show you a slideshow here explaining it and why I call it the dividend wheel. Now, before we get there, I want you to understand that I'm doing this. I want you to understand that I generate around $15,000 a month. And what I do is I write covered calls and sell cash secure puts to generate massive covered call and cash secure put premiums. Those premiums literally printing money because where I never had the money before, well, when I did the covered call on the stock that I own, or I wrote a cash secure put using the cash that I own, I now have printed that money. Well, that money is going to go to buying a dividend paying stock. And that's what we've been doing since February of this year. And what I'm going to tell you is this. I try to collect 1,500 shares of a stock. I write a ton of covered calls. And what I do is I take all of those profits and put them into those dividend paying stocks and ETFs we're looking to buy. And then what we do is we start building that store of equity. If I make $500 or $700, I take that and buy the dividend paying stock that I'm planting. Right, I'm planting a dividend tree and we're gonna do that till we get 1,500 shares. We have been doing this since February. And you can see here where it's paying off in the month of June. Okay, it's called the dividend wheel. And where I got this idea, it's quite simple. See, when I buy a dividend paying stock, it's literally gonna sit there for 30 days. It's gonna sit there for 30 days doing nothing. And when I collect 1,500 shares, usually this is anywhere from 25K to 30K sitting there for 30 days doing nothing. Well, that's not what I do, man. I try to use my money as efficiently as possible, trying to squeeze out every single dollar that I can every single day. So we're going to use the dividend capture strategy, but now we're going to mix in the cash cure put. This is the dividend wheel. Now, I've created a slideshow for you, so I want you to kick back. I hope for a lot of you, you understand what we do here. We write covered calls. We sell cash secure puts that generates money. We take that money and we buy dividend paying stocks. Those dividend paying stocks are going to pay us monthly. And we're going to buy more dividend paying stocks. And the goal is to generate over $10,000 a month passive income doing nothing. Now, right now, I've already exceeded that, and my goal by the end of this year, 2024, is to make $20,000 a month. Could you imagine making $20,000 a month doing nothing? Well, we put in the front end work by learning the cover call strategy, creating premium profits, and then buying our favorite dividend paying stocks. And we then roll, baby. We roll, roll, roll. We keep doing it, okay? We stay the course. Uh, first of all, if you want to be a part of my membership, for which all the members see this, man. They see every single trade that I do and the dividend paying stocks I'm buying. And we talk about this. 
and I do exclusive videos you don't see here. So I want you to go to cpt-board.com, click Upgraded Dashboard, and get your one free month offer. I am absolutely blowing up on the membership side because people want to be associated with somebody that's knocking it down. They're actually doing it, not talking about it. And I'm going to tell you now, none of my videos are hypothetical. When you come to my channel and you watch a video I do, I'm either in the trade or did the trade, but quite frankly, it's relevant trades to up your game. We don't talk about trades I did last year. We're talking about them right here, right now. So what I want you to do is go to cpt-board.com, click Upgraded Dashboard, and get your one free month. Would love to welcome you aboard. Now let's talk about that dividend wheel. First of all, you have to understand that what we're doing is we're buying a dividend paying stock. Now we're gonna sell that stock after the X date. And then we're gonna take that cash and we're gonna write near term cash secure puts. Why do I call it the dividend wheel? Because the traditional options wheel uses the cash secure put primarily. It also uses the covered call, but the cash secure put is front and center. So I got to thinking, man, if I am going to buy a dividend paying stock, collect the fat dividend, and then just sit around for the next 29 days before it sends me a $400, $500, $600 check when I could have used that 30 grand all month? Well, we're not gonna do that. I'm about to show you real examples of what I'm doing right now. We're gonna buy a stock before the X date. If you don't understand what the X date is, it's quite simple, X dividend. When you hear a stock trades X dividend, that means the night before, it didn't distribute its dividend. The day of the X date, it's trading post dividend or X dividend, okay? So what happened the night before is they took out the dividend in the share price and the very first tick the next day is X dividend or minus what the dividend was. So we need to own the stock the day before the X dividend date. Then on X dividend date, we are entitled to the dividend. So we can sell those shares immediately. Now the stock is gonna fall based on the dividend it gave. Now don't worry about that because if you do the wheel right, that's gonna be paid back threefold, okay? Hang with me. What we're gonna do is this. We're gonna find a great stock. We're gonna write a one week out of the money cash secure put and we're not going to be assigned the shares. This is very important to understand. We are just using this cash to generate a deep out of the money cash secure put premium that might have equaled the dividend you were just paid. So let's go ahead and talk about how this works and I think you're gonna like it. Now the traditional cash secure put when we sell premium is simple. You're gonna go ahead and the week of, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna sell an at the money or in the money cash secure put. See, you wanna be assigned the shares because the next step is to write a covered call. And you're hoping to write an at the money covered call and have your shares taken away. And then we're gonna do another cash secure put at the money, be assigned the shares, and we're gonna write a covered call. We're gonna hope our shares are taken away. That would complete the four steps of the traditional options wheel strategy. Now, for some of you, you may not know what a cash secure put is. So I'm gonna ask you to go to YouTube and search cash secure put. It's quite simple. We're actually going to pick a price for which we will buy somebody's shares, and we're gonna give them a time frame. In this case, it's gonna be one week, and we're going to be paid a per share premium. The further out of the money, we make less. So I want you to imagine this. If the stock's trading, and in this example, it's yen, if it's trading at 25, and we write a cash secure put, where I'll buy somebody's shares at 25, I'm gonna make a lot of premium because it's right near the money. Now, if we back that out and we say to the greater stock market, I wanna buy your shares at 23. Well, that's deep out of the money. And quite frankly, the call buyer's not gonna pay you much per share, but here's the deal. If that dividend paying stock paid us 30 cents per share for that dividend, that's all we want. So we will tell the greater stock market using a cash secure put, we want to buy your shares at 23. Now there's gonna be a short window trade, one week. Now that 30 cents is your added dividend. It's as if we're doubling a dividend where we collected it with the dividend paying stock, sold the shares. Now we collected another dividend using the cash secure put. 
Now the cash secure put is a really fun options trade because most people will start most every stock purchase by writing a cash secure put. Instead of going out and just buying ABC stock for $23, they'll actually sell a put. And what that means is I'm saying, look, I want to buy your shares at 23. I'll give you one week to decide. You're going to pay me a per share premium. And it usually happens where I'm assigned the shares. Doesn't mean I always am, but most likely I am. So now let's talk about the dividend wheel. Because right here is the meat of what we're talking about. And I'm going to show you live trades here in a minute. I got a spreadsheet that you're going to be able to download. So the dividend wheel is a combination of a dividend capture where we own the stock, we collect the dividend. But we got to wait for 30 days. And hey, man, I want my money to be working for me because these dividend stocks move in, you know, penny here, penny there. So what I'm going to do is incorporate and blend the traditional options wheel strategy. And of course, I think you get it by now. What we're going to do is this. The day before the X date, we're going to own that stock. We're going to go through the night and into the X dividend date. That entitles us to the dividend. Now we have that dividend in our pocket. It's coming, right? They're going to distribute that dividend in a couple days, but it's coming. You're entitled to it. But on X dividend date, we sell the shares. Now we have a cash position. We're going to go find a stock and we're going to sell an out of the money, a deep out of the money cash secure put. And you can see right there, step one, buy the dividend paying stock, collect the dividend. We're going to sell out of that position on the X date. Step two, sell a deep out of the money, not to be assigned cash secure put. And then when that expires worthless and we keep that premium, the cash is available. We do it again. You can see step three, sell a deep out of the money cash secure put for which it'll expire worthless. We're not assigned the shares. And now if we're getting close, right? If we're getting close to the new X date for that dividend stock, we have to buy the stock again because we have to be the owner of the stock the day before the X date. And that's what we're gonna do. Now, what I'm hoping to do is this. I wanna do three cash secure puts during this month to complete a wheel. But if I can get off two, I'll take it. Let me add something here. We are taking the money from the cash secure put we're buying more of the dividend shares. You're keeping tally of this because you might make 25 extra shares. You write a cash secure put and you go ahead. You have this little stockpile of money you just made. You're going to buy extra shares of the dividend stock. And you can do that now or you can do that at the end. Point is we're collecting extra shares for free. Yeah, we risk the cash secure put money and potentially being assigned the shares. But at the end of the day, we generated cash. So those shares are above and beyond what you would have had. So in summary, and I'm going to show you some examples here right now, man, I'm excited. Here is the dividend wheel. I want you to read this. I want you to go out and try it. Okay. I am telling you now this works. We are adding shares of the dividend paying stock. We are making wealth from this. See, where I had 1,500 shares before, after I do a complete wheel, I might have 1,600 shares. Because a lot of people say they don't have money to buy the dividend paying stocks without taking away a vacation from the family or Starbucks or, or food off the table. Here is your way out. This is your way out. And you can generate cash so you can buy extra stocks, building your wealth. So let's recap. Step one, collect the dividend. You have to own the stock before the X date. You go through the night, X date happens, you could sell the shares. We're gonna use the cash to sell a cash secure put. Now we're gonna pick another stock. Somebody out there right now, listen to this. Uh, I know you're about ready to type, do I use the dividend paying stock for the cash secure put? Well, of course not, because you, sometimes you can't even write options on them. You're going to pick a different stock. You might use Yin, you might use TNA, you might use Microsoft, you might use Apple, but you're picking a different stock. And what we're going to do is we're going to write a deep out of the money strike. Say the stock's selling for 25, you're going to sell that 23, 22 strike. Highly unlikely in five days, the stock will fall from 25 to 22 and you will be assigned the shares. Not saying it couldn't happen, highly unlikely. We want a favorable cash secure put strike and that would be deep out of the money. We're gonna do that a couple times. Hopefully you get three in. If you get two, hey, more the merrier. Then at the very end, our last cash secure put is closed. 
we are going to use the cash available to repurchase the dividend paying stock. The same one. But see, now you have extra money, right? You have extra money. You're going to take that extra money and you're going to buy the dividend paying stock. Where you once had 100 shares, you might have 125 shares now. And this is the beauty. You will hold that dividend paying stock through the X date, collecting a bigger dividend. By the way, you take that dividend and buy more shares of that dividend paying stock. Do you see how the hand is feeding the hand? Got to think wealthy. And that's what they do. The goal of the cash secure put premiums to pick the deep out of the money strike as to not be assigned the share. Yet picking up premiums that might equal what the dividend would pay you. My example here is say the dividend's 50 cents. You're going to try to collect a premium, a cash secure put premium of 50 cents. That would complete that month's wheel. You should have more dividend stock than you did when you started. Now let's go ahead and let me show you some real live examples. What I'm going to tell you at the very end is so important. Do not click away until you hear what I got to say. CPTdashboard.com, get your one free month membership. The dividend wheel is going to be a communication and video I send out to my members. We are going to be doing this because at the end of the day, we want to build a legacy. A legacy of generating passive income, and we do it at the membership. Every time I do a trade, I show the members exactly what I do. You know, here's an example right here where I just closed a winning trade. Uh, we don't win all the time, and in fact, I'm going to be doing a video where I lost big time on snow. What we do is this. When we do win, we go ahead and take that money and put it into a dividend-paying stock. I show that to the members all the time. And we're doing different ones all the time. And I do exclusive videos for them where we talk about things like YMAG. We talk about Bitcoin with iBit. And we're going to be talking about BitU, which is a 2x leverage ETF to Bitcoin. We talk about all kinds of things on the other side of the membership. I need you to go to cptdashboard.com, click Upgraded Dashboard, get your one free month offer. I would love to welcome you aboard. Now let's finish this up. We're using SPY T. So SPY T is a great dividend paying stock. It's a monthly dividend paying stock and it's trading for about $20.16. Now I have 1500 shares and SPY T pays me about $500 a month. Now I love that, right? $500 a month. We do this all the time. Repeat, 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 collecting that money. But notice I have $29,000 of SPY T sitting there for 30 days. Right, I collect the dividend and it sits there for 30 days. Well, that $30,000 could be right in cash secure puts. And that's what I did. So what I want you to do is focus here for a second. So for some of you, you totally get it. You're already in. You're already going to implement this strategy. You could clearly see this spreadsheet you're going to have access to. Here's the deal. On June 6th, I went ahead and sold my 1,500 shares. That was after I collected the dividend of 33 cents. Notice we sold the shares. Very first thing we did is we collected $495 and that's 25 extra SPY T shares. I went ahead and then wrote two cash secure puts using that cash. The very first one, notice on June 11th. This was right after the fact. We did it on yin, picked a 23 strike. We did 12 contracts, got 63 cents, knocking it down. We bought it back. We bought it back for 19 cents, collecting 44. Remember SPY T pays 33 cents? Well, in this case, 44 cents meets the criteria. We buy it back. That's an additional $528. Notice 26 new shares. Then we use DPST. Now these are 3X leverage ETFs. And if you're not ready to use 3X leverage ETFs, you need to sit on the bench, learn, get your education. But watch me how it's done. On June 18th, we went ahead and did DPST. The strike was not 1612, rather it was 6120. Let's make that change right now so my spreadsheet is right. We did four contracts, we got paid $2.90. Admittedly, that was a little tighter than the money that I would like. We got paid $2.90, the trade moved on, meaning the stock went higher. The stock moves higher, the cash secure put premium will decrease because the likelihood of the stock finishing near the strike is not likely. So in this case, we went ahead and bought that back. We pocketed a $1.95, a $780. That was an additional 39 shares. Now I want to fast forward over a current one uh, we're doing with PYPY. 
Again, PYPY, top of the month, pays its dividend. Notice, July 5th, we sell out of the position, 1,500 shares. We make $645. That $645 is going to buy another 40 shares of PYPY. Then I go ahead on July 5th, you can see it right there. We're going to use a Bitcoin ETF, BITU. And we write an out of the money cash secure put. And we do 10 contracts based on the money we have. That turns out to be $25,000. And we get a buck 70 in premium. So we'll see how this trade works out. Because this is going to go until July 19th. This is going to be a two-week trade. I want to do one-week trades, but BITU only does one-month trades. So here is the plan. If I avoid being assigned, well, I'm going to get another 107 shares out of that. So that means we're going to have 147 extra shares when we buy back PYPY to complete the wheel. Right? We're going to do a cash cure put here, cash cure put here. And by the time we get to the X date, right? We have to get to the X date, own the shares. By the time we get to the day before the X date, we have to own the shares. So I'll buy the shares here. We'll collect that dividend and we will repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat. That is the dividend wheel. And what I want you to understand is this, and this is the most important part. If you are assigned the shares, you get unlucky and you are assigned the shares. Like for example, right here, if I get assigned the shares of BITU at 23X, well, I'm hoping the stock is trading in and around 23X when I'm assigned the shares. What does that mean? They're actually going to sell me their shares at 23. I want you to go to YouTube and get an education on writing a covered call because that's the next thing we're going to do. We're going to write a covered call and try to be out of this trade before the upcoming X date for the dividend paying stock. Now, if we're not, for whatever reason, we're not out of the trade, that's all right. Miss the X dividend date, write the covered calls until you get out of the shares. And then we reboot with a cash secure put. And when we loop around back to the day before the X date, buy the dividend paying stock again, repeat and rinse. Hey, look, my members get this all the time and they're going to get more of it because I'm going to be doing more dividend wheels. You're going to hear more and more about this because we are generating money where it didn't exist before and we're doing it in big numbers. So I want you to stick around. So what I want you to do right now is go to cpt-board.com, get your one free month offer. Then I want you to bang that like button. And hey, look, subscribe to the channel because more and more and more of this is coming. Hey, look, I want you to be safe, be healthy, most important, be lucky. Until next time, may all your covered calls be profitable. Oh, I seen the light I seen excite the... all the freaks. Oh. Stack man chips, spread love with my peeps.